Voilà, nous sommes maintenant sur le stand de Imagination qui s'occupe de la partie graphique des processeurs mobiles d'Apple. Donc évidemment, dès qu'on a parlé d'Apple sur le stand, tout le monde est devenu muet, mais on a pu avoir un aperçu intéressant d'une nouvelle technologie qui sera très bientôt disponible au milieu de l'année qui permet de faire des rendus en 3D euh, ray tracing en temps réel. Donc euh, voilà qui promet pour euh, les prochains jeux sur euh, iOS. In the past, if you look, you've had rasterized graphics. That has been the predominant way that you do graphics on, on computers. Yeah. There was another technique called ray tracing, uh, which was also gets you much more photorealism, but the unfortunately time. computationally expensive. So the Caustic's claim to fame is we have figured out a way to make ray tracing fast enough to be interactive. And what I'm going to show you here is an example. This is a 10-year-old game engine that we took and we you know it's very simple obviously it's very old but it, it it really does explain a point this is rasterized i haven't turned on our ray tracer yet with rasterization there is no concept of light so you you don't know your shadows where your shadows it's are a 3D image. exactly it's just a painted two almost 2d image right yeah. now if i turn on the caustic ray tracer without any artist intervention at all. Now I'm capturing all the lighting information in the scene. So now I have shadows, I have reflection, refraction, and that all came for free with ray tracing. And so in fact, if, if you use ray tracing, um, you're basically, in the future for games, you'd basically be reducing the cost of making that game by at least 20 to, to 30%. We're using the, the FPGA prototype here. Yeah. Uh, which is, um, will be an ASIC uh, PCI Express card later on this year called Caustic 2. So I'm going to back this car into this, there we go, that's a nice shot right there. So we see the reflections from the wall coming off, we've got a nice highlight there, the checkerboard. So this technique is going to make its way uh, through imagination technology stuff. That's right. The, the plan of course is to take this technology down into the mobile Uh, embedded uh, space as well. So later on this year, our first uh, market is the professional high-end 3D market. People that are using products like uh, 3ds Max or Maya, yeah. uh, artists can be now using ray tracing at the various earliest stages of modeling and uh, animation. So now I'm going to add another car to the scene. Okay. Let's go ahead and go full screen now. Like I said, if if you do this in rasterization, you have artists who have to paint all of these reflections. And in this case, by dropping something into the scene like I did, there would be no way that I could predict that in advance. So that's so the basically you, you you aim this technique at um, 3D artists on Maya and so on, so on, so. 3D artists, industrial designers, architects, people that are doing scientific visualization. That's the first market, and then, of course, later on, we'll move it into the mobile space with the power of VR technology. So, w when will this technique be available? This technique will be available later on this, this year. Yeah. Uh, we're planning to debut this at SIGGRAPH in Vancouver. The card is only 35 watts of power, so much, much cheaper power consumption than a GPU card. And the Caustic 2, which is our ASIC version of our FPGA, also around 35 watts. So this is the future for us? Yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.